Veterans Voices is sponsored by these local businesses. It's National Nurses Week, and while nurses everywhere are being celebrated, there's a few remaining women of the Cadet Nurse Corps who still wonder why they never received veteran status for answering the government's call to join the health field during World War II. In this week's Veterans Voices, two Johnson City women share their story of why they joined. As the deadliest war was happening in Europe, America was facing another crisis at home that could have become deadly too. It was created because of the acute, acute nursing shortage. All the older nurses had gone into service. My older sister had gone into the Navy. So lawmakers created the Cadet Nurse Corps, enticing 17 to 35 year old women with good grades to join. But why wouldn't you? $15 a month that you could spend and I, more later, I had no money, so why not? And, look, and they had snappy uniforms. And those snappy uniforms made a statement in Nashville where Washington worked at St. Thomas Hospital. By the time the 1st of July came by, all of the nursing schools in Nashville, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, St. Thomas, Baptist, all of them was recruited and they closed the main street of Nashville, Tennessee. We wore white and that for blocks and blocks and blocks all you saw was white uniforms and white caps. All of the schools marched together. I've never seen such a big March. Along with the uniforms, cadets were given scholarships, room and board, and a monthly stipend. We were credited with saving the health care system. And the, what the Surgeon General at that time said we were as important to the health care system as the Marines were to D-Day because a lot of the hospitals would have had to close down. Time in the Cadet Nurse Corps gave them a lifelong nursing career. That's all I ever wanted to do. Washington worked in obstetrics. Lowe spent the last six months of her contract at the Mountain Home VA, and she retired there after 22 years. About 80% of the nursing was done on the home front, which was all in the United States. While the two were part of the more than 120,000 women who answered their country's call to join the Cadet Nurse Corps, at 98 and 99, the members aren't recognized as veterans. We were an important phase of the help in the World War II, and it's a shame that they have never given us veteran status because we did what we were asked to do. A bill to grant honorary veteran status to Cadet Nurse Corps members died in the Senate in 2022. The merchant mariners who were, were civilians who were hired to clean up the beach, beaches got veteran status in 2017 with, with benefits. And why can't we do it? Because it's because we're women or what? This week, Lowe and Washington's nursing home, Christian Thank Assisted you. Living, honored so today, them. Christian Assisted Living is giving them plaques. As the recognition for their service may be too late, if it ever comes. We all just gave up because we'd tried so hard to get it. Even though there were nurses that have already passed on, it would be, and if, it, if we were ever made veterans, it would be an honor to their families. Last May, a bill called the United States Cadet Nurse Corps Service Recognition Act was introduced in the U.S. House and Senate, but it hasn't moved forward. If approved, members would have received honors at their burials and memorials, but not veteran benefits. You can nominate a veteran who served our country and share their story for our ongoing Veterans Voices series. We are particularly looking for those who might have had a role in D-Day. Just log on to WJHL.com and click the Community tab.